Welcome to the Jeff Davis High School Media Center. Hello students. We are excited that you decided to drop in today and learn a little bit more about what we have to offer. Whether you're interested in learning more about books and computers or our reading area, there is always lots to do and lots to see in our media center. Okay everybody, let's get ready to learn how we can find what we're looking for in the different areas of our media center. Within our media center, there are several areas that we will learn about today. Let's begin with one of our most abundant resources, books. Among the many, many books we have available, there are four main sections, each offering a different type of book. First, we will learn about fiction, and then move on to nonfiction, biography, and reference material sections. Pay attention as we discover what each of these sections has to offer. We'll review these again at the end and see if you can help figure out where some of these books belong. First, let's explore the fiction section. Books in this section contain stories that are not true. They are made up by the author. They are often longer stories and contain far fewer pictures than the books you may have read in the lower grades. Books in this section are arranged in the alphabetical order by the author's last name. Here we can see the call number of our book. Every book in the Media Center has a call number. For this particular book, the call number is FWES. This is because the book is in the fiction section and is written by Scott Westerfeld. Looking for our call number is important for a few reasons. First, it helps us locate our book. It is also important that we pay attention to our call number when books are put back on the shelves. That way, it is in just the right place for the next person to be able to find it. In the fiction section, the call number will begin with an F. This represents the word fiction. Below this, the first few letters of the author's last name will be displayed. Let's continue on our tour by taking a look at the nonfiction section. Nonfiction books are true and are used to gather information on a particular subject. Unlike the fiction category we just looked at, nonfiction books are shelved in numerical order by subject or topic. The Dewey Decimal System is used to categorize or organize books in this section by grouping them in sets of 10. To help us easily locate nonfiction books, shelf markers are used to direct our search. For example, if we were looking for a book about our school mascot, the Yellow Jacket, we would look around the end of the 500 section. 590 is for animals and insects. Also, while we do not currently have shelf markers up, we are working on getting those prepared and posted and they will be up soon. Finally, don't worry about knowing what each group in the nonfiction section represents. You can always ask the media specialist or the Media Center Parapro for help. Also, don't forget to use those shelf markers. They are a great hint to help get you pointed in the right direction. Let's compare and see what we have learned so far. Look at these two books. Can you easily tell which is a nonfiction book and which is a fiction book? How can you tell? If you could tell that the fiction book was the one with the F in the call number and that the non-fiction book was about the real historical figure, then you are correct. Now it's time for us to visit the biography section. A biography is a true story of someone's life written by someone else. In this section we will find stories about the presidents and inventors, actors and athletes, and lots more people you have probably heard of. Biographies are housed within the non-fiction section but are all grouped together with their own call number. All of our biographies start with B for biography. To the side of our fiction section, you will find our reference section. Here you will find encyclopedias, dictionaries, and atlases and globes. These materials are very special and have to be used inside the media center. They are not allowed to be checked out, but are for everyone to share. Let's examine what each of these reference materials have to offer. Encyclopedias are books that span many volumes and tell us true facts and information on various subjects. The call number on an encyclopedia, like any book within the reference section, is an R or the letters REF. Also, you will see that the encyclopedias are numbered and lettered. This information is used not only to keep the books in order, but also to help you find information that is of interest to you. For example, if you are looking for information on dogs, you would look for the volume that had the letter D printed on the spine. Next in our reference collection, we will come across our dictionaries. Dictionaries come in all shapes and sizes. There are student dictionaries, pocket dictionaries, and subject-specific dictionaries. No matter which type you pick up, 
they will all have a few things in common. First, words are arranged in alphabetical order. Also, the words you're looking up will usually be printed in bold with the definition to follow. In some dictionaries, pronunciation guides are used to help you figure out how to correctly say the word. We have several types of dic dictionaries in our media center. Atlases and globes are available within the media center as well. These are useful in looking at different places around the world. An atlas contains the group of maps, often showing different angles or views of an area. A globe is a map that is round and spins. Spin the globe. Place your finger on an area to stop the spinning and see where you've landed. Now imagine you are taking a trip there. What do you see? You can learn a lot about another country or state simply by knowing where it is located. And that completes our reference section. Now, let's review. Remember, all information found in the reference section is true, and it is called nonfiction. Encyclopedias, dictionaries, atlases, and globes are all found in our reference section. Reference materials are not allowed to be checked out, but they are to be used within the Media Center. That completes our tour of the book sections. We have looked at fiction books, nonfiction books, biographies, and the reference materials. But wait, that's not all we have in our Media Center. Let's look at some of the other resources we have right here at Jeff Davis High School. Our Media Center also has a full class set of computer workstations available for student use. Whether you are researching for a term paper, looking up a book to check out using our computerized card catalog system, or creating a project for class, this area is always lots of fun for students. Once you have selected your book or completed your assignment, there are a few comfy reading areas throughout the Media Center that you'll be able to use. Tables, benches, and colorful rugs are all places you can spend some free time reading. And while you're here, we don't want you to forget to visit the circulation desk to check out your book. To do this, all you have to do is to give your book to the Media Specialist or the Media Center Parapro, and they will set things up for you. When you have finished a book that you've checked out, you will need to return it to the Media Center for it to be checked back in and placed back on our shelves for other students to find. To do this, you simply place your book in the book drop. We have now completed our tour of the Jeff Davis High School Media Center. Let's see if you can use what we have just learned to help answer a few questions. In which section would we find a book that is not true? If you said the fiction section, you're correct. Let's try another one. What is the name of the special section located within the nonfiction or true section that contains stories of people's lives? If you said the biography section, you are correct. Finally, once you have found a book you would like to read, what must you do to take it out of the Media Center with you? If you said check it out, you are correct. We hope you've enjoyed your visit to the Jeff Davis High School Media Center. Please come back anytime.